Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You're welcome to Sahur Kitchen this beautiful morning in the month of Ramadan. How has it been so far? Slow, steady, mashallah. We don't have the heat hitting us because we ought to be staying at home. I trust that you're staying at home. Anyways, inshallah ta'ala, I have a guest with me today cooking and talking about infants and how they get to cope with the pandemic of course they also have um their lives and we need to take care of them so we'll be hearing from a medical doctor in the course of the show inshallah stay with us Thinking of the perfect gifts this Ramadan season, Honeywell Ramadan Pack is the perfect gift to have and to share, either at Sahur or Iftar. Honeywell Ramadan Pack has something for anyone and everyone. Also, introducing the new Honeywell Ramadan Mini Pack. Why buy in pieces when you can get all Honeywell product in one single pack and save yourself some money while at it? Honeywell Ramadan Regular and Mini Pack are available at all key stores nationwide. Ramadan Karim from Honeywell flour mill. Welcome back if you're just joining us in his Sahur Kitchen and I did say that I have um, a doctor, a medical doctor who will be talking to us about the infants, how do we care for them in this pandemic. Dr. Hamza Said Adekunle is a change agent and he's been in the advocacy space for over 10 years. Um, he's run advocacy covering maternal, newborn and child health care, um, sickle cell disorders and numerous other such campaigns. Um, inshallah Allah, he'll be the one talking to us today about caring for the infant in this pandemic. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. alhamdulillah. So before we get into the discussion, what are you cooking for us this hour? Stir fried chicken, spaghetti. Okay. It's going to be a very fast one because as a bachelor and a business person, we have to prepare something that is fast. Sharp, 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 and, no time. <laughs> and grow your way and do some other things. Great. So just talk me through your recipe very so, quickly. Um, here we have the pepper, the this is atarodo in Yoruba, yeah. and yeah. we have the red bell pepper. We can also add the green bell pepper to make it colorful. Indeed. We have the onion, of course, the chicken. Okay, this the is boned the chicken. The boned so bone chicken. So you struggle to take out the all the bones. bones. Yeah. So um, this is me and the garlic with the ginger, of course, the granite oil, okay. and of course, honey the onion oil spaghetti that I'm going to use for the. All right. So um, we'll be talking about you know, infant healthcare in the pandemic. So before we start, what would you like to start off with? I'm your kitchen assistant, so okay. just tell me what you need. After letting up the stove, so we'll be putting up our oil. Okay, so you need to start, sorry. Boil okay. the... Spaghetti oil. So no, you want to... boil the chicken and start with the okay, other ones then. to boil it. All right, Friday. I'll get the water for you. So um, just tell us a bit more about yourself in terms of your work in the infant space so we understand where you're coming from, why you're the one talking to us about taking care of the infants. Um, generally, I focus about people uh, generally, how you can live and enjoy their life without much ado going to order now and then. But we Sorry to interrupt, do you need water to boil the chicken or you boil it No, just need to wash the chicken now. Okay. Hey. So uh, we just streamline sometimes to our children at home, especially the little little ones, under five specifically. And when we talk about infants, actually, infant is children between zero day to one month. That I mean one year. That's twelve months. So, and this infant we are talking about, there are some parents in another group. We have the no need among them that is between zero day to 28 days so basically i see that when i was in medical school i see people coming to order with their kids sometimes almost day your chicken is washed thank you i will take off from here yeah, we continue with the okay, frying of the okay. uh, this is the granite oil yeah. i just need little one Okay. For the frying of the So they brought a half dead baby to the ward. Yeah, half dead baby to the ward. And you know, the other one I was talking about is that the baby came to the ward with the mom on the back of the mom. So as a doctor that was almost ready to work, yeah. I was about to start taking the issue. So yeah. my senior colleague said that Doctor Amza has hold on. Let this one put the baby on the couch. You know, the baby was dead. The baby was brought in dead. So when we took the history, after we confirmed the baby dead, 
it surprised me when I got to know that the baby was having a to for almost four days and four days. four days and it actually well you can prevent at home anybody can prevent that thing because the baby died of dehydration hmm. because when you are having water stool as you are passing the stool it's not as so you are losing water hmm. in your body hmm. so ordinary ORS yeah. you can prepare this thing at home you can use salt and water salt sugar solution to prepare it at yeah. home and Save the baby. But knowing the exact measure of sugar and But if you don't do so, that, mm. it's actually how much are they selling this thing at? Just so, to buy the Just to buy and prepared. start using for the baby. And our oil is getting oh. warm. So, so I noticed you didn't put any spice in the Because I'm going chicken. to, I don't like too much seasoning in my stove. Okay. So because I'm going to add to the fry already. So, so you I, take don't, the I don't really like it. And because this thing is part of what we are taking care of. People, people take care, I mean, take a lot of Oil. seasoning. And when you look at this seasoning, they contain the same constant most of the time. Your salt, your the, cubes, the cubes, cubes, everything. They have components that are almost similar. Okay. So when you take them in nurses, and you know, we are guys now, and we are getting old. Okay. <laughs> we need to take over I'm ourselves. Not, not <laughs> we need to take over ourselves. Hypertension is there, that is there. So okay. all those things, we have to be very careful. Okay. We need to okay. wait for them to tell us before we stop. So well, we start with the onion. Okay. I'm looking at this, but I don't want to be disappointed. Okay. So, so back time. to this um, baby that. How did the mother feel when you made? Because this is you. Your negligence has killed your baby. That's what it, it turns know, out to be. Majority of the people will tell you they don't have money to go to the hospital. Uh, she went to a particular private hospital and couldn't pay the bill, mm. and she now delayed the baby to. Even somebody actually prompted her to come to the mm. hospital. And if you look at the distant cover, it's actually very far. So they can, uh, to make the story worse, and eh, it was during the log, I mean, old dog, all this traffic along mm, Lagos mm. Badon. Mm. So, spending more than four hours on the road before getting to mm. just make the make the story, I mean, the scenario was then expected. So, my hair is really hot, I can't see. Now. So, yeah. I put my onions. Okay. So away from this baby and um, the BIJ, so generally, how should parents, what do they look out for? What kind of... Um, so I put my garlic and ginger, ginger just to give the onion a lot of Flavor aroma. Flavor and aroma. Mm. Okay. So this and one is done now. I, I can help you with the cubes. How many cubes do you so need? Just only one cube for this, actually. Okay. It's only one. So I can reduce this heat it's too uh, much. Okay. So how do parents generally care for their infants? Are there a newborn, for example? How do you hand over the, a newborn, newborn to a new mother and the, how does she cope? The newborn care usually is, the, I mean, is taken care by the doctors in the hospital, the doctors and the nurses. Okay. That's the first part. They take care of the baby for the parents within the first 40 hours or they're about okay. as far as close as they are still in the hospital. So I'm adding my red bed now. Okay. So if I have the green one too, I'll apply the green. Okay. So I'm using this one just to make it spicy. Spicy, I don't well. like in that after eating, I'll be looking for something else to... To wash it down, <laughs> to so, clear your throat, okay. I'll just leave it, but before then, I will add the coriander. Okay. So I'll let and you my add that. Is done. Okay, I'll let you add that. We'll go on a break now. Um, when we come back from the break, inshallah, ta'ala, we'll get the spaghetti started, inshallah. If you're just joining us, it's still Saho Kitchen and our food is at advanced stage. You don't find the peppers. Yes, the aroma so here is really nice. It's just from the just really few real minutes. herbs, um, yes. ginger, garlic, and under five minutes, this is that's ready. The, that's the 
Jeez, like, actually, <laughs> it's going to make me very fast. I attend to other things. All right, then. So, what's, what's next? So, the next thing is that I want to fry the chicken inside this and pour. I'm going to fry this. Okay. And then this. I can help you start the spaghetti. Get um, yes, I have to water. fry the spaghetti. So as I'm frying the chicken now, the cooking spaghetti, so no problem. But we have um, to let the both water boil very well. Yes. Before we put the spaghetti, spaghetti. in, I'm boiling water already okay. for you to make that faster. All right. So back to uh, just um, before the break, we have talked about um, carelessness generally, and I asked you about. So how does a new mother know how to handle a baby? And you said, oh, usually that's handled by the doctor and the nurse. I think for the first, first 48, 48 hours, hours I get that. take care of the baby mm. because there's something you have to look at when your baby just came to the world, mm. so that the mother will not know. But the other thing we look at, we need to be paying her or so that's our own assessment of the baby when the baby will just come to the world. Yeah. However, when the mother takes their baby home, yeah. you know this baby within the first twenty-eight days yes. or within the one year of life, they are let me say delicate. And speaking of delicate, um, is there any point in time where you quiz the mother about where they're taking the child to like what kind of environment the child is going to be growing up in so that you can prepare her on what to do to you know get the environment suitable for this infant yes during the asthma care yes the nurses and some doctors we take care of that uh, during the asthma care that's asthma when they when they are pregnant yes they come to the hospital of to course, yes. check how the pregnancy is doing now yes. So this period is actually meant to So prepare. this oil is what you're going to introduce the yes. chicken into? Yes, although the oil is small, but, but we can actually manage it. So I'm going to put the chicken into it. Yeah, so and you're explaining? Um, during that period, you let the mother know how to take care of the baby. Apart from the pregnancy, when the baby comes, let them know how to take care of the baby. So during this period, they tell them what they need to get ready. And the last Part of the pregnancy that's like the late eight months or early nine months yeah. that's the period you prepare the mother mm. for delivery okay. so that you know they're actually ready to take care of their baby when mm. the baby comes so this period you know we don't have equal like you we say equal dog so we cannot yeah we cannot tell them that this is what you need to do for your baby but there are specific things basic you have to, I some things that are like, very basic one of the Thing that we don't know. I will tell you that the baby, the majority of babies die between, I mean, between zero days to 28 days. And one of the things they won't find it for, they call it sudden infant death. Mm. So when you place the baby wrongly in bed, mm. the baby can die from it. So for and you won't baby, know. And you won't so know. we always advise that when you want to put your baby to bed, always put them on their back. So that Line you know, mm. And always make sure that where your baby is not far from your baby. So those are the things we have to encourage mother to carry um, to our baby. Okay. So I'm going to add another okay. cue okay. to the thing, just to have to. Okay. Uh, so by now my spaghetti should be getting. Ready. So your spaghetti, do you um, leave it whole? I will have to break. I'm using only wet spaghetti for this stir fried chicken spaghetti. So. My water needs to be boiled for a while. It's, add it's fully boiled. Little salt. Okay. To say it's I'll boiling. Get the salt for you. I have to say it's boiling. Okay. The salt in the water directly. Yes. And add a little oil. So you were talking about the infant and so, care. Yeah, Especially um, in the first 20 days, you said something very germane that a lot so of deaths, infant deaths, happen in the first 20 days. In the first 20 days. days. Okay. Although anybody can die at any age. Of but course. Because of uh, carelessness and, you know, some first timer too, yeah. they don't have to take care of their baby. So yeah. this one causes a lot of death. This is our oil spaghetti. You can see how sweet it is. This spaghetti is. Wait, so, uh, I can't just put everything together. I'm really keen on this. Um, this you've mentioned DID, SID. So that's SID. SID, yes. That's sodium so infant. Yes. Actually, it's a syndrome. Okay. Sodium infant syndrome. So this is my. I'm just going to be water. Already added salt and oil. So this one will take me just like five minutes. 
I don't want it to get too soft. soft. So, so the spaghetti is done now, so I have to drain the water. Okay, let me get the seed for you. So uh, from there, I will have to mix my pepper, already prepared pepper with this. So, um, you, you've spoken about infant care generally. We've very not talked about it in the pandemic. Which yes, is actually, during this pandemic, there is no Can I help you drink? Uh, please, thank you. Okay, I need to turn it off. There's no much difference between the care for the baby during and when there's no pandemic. The only difference is that, you know that this, this baby, they depend on us majorly. So because they depend on us, we have to be very careful. Of, and they are at home now. So we need to be very careful during this pandemic because they are at home. We need to monitor what they do. Mm. Like, generally we know that as an adult, as a grown-up people, we have to wash our hands regularly with running water and soap or use hand sanitizer. So, so this one we actually prevent us from getting this virus. And, but you know, you cannot ask them to be washing their hands how old is he, 12 months old or, or less than that. Yes. You know, they will always find out to wash hands and all. So what we do for them is that you can actually give them, okay, when you wash your hands for the way, come and look at what I'm doing. You can call one of your kids, come and look at what you're doing. You. Let them look at you and actually you can promise them incentive. Anybody that watches your, watches your hand very well, you promise them incentive so that they can actually abide by that. You cannot prevent them from what, playing outside. Mm. But when they do play outside, when they come inside, try to change their clothes and take proper care of them. Okay. And as well, when you are taking care of the baby, you have to take care of yourself. When you mm. go out, Especially the essential providers. When you go out, you don't let your baby come to you mm. when you come inside. That must be very hurtful. This baby is running towards you. Mommy, you have mommy, to be very you careful. Just, you, you have to be very careful. You don't have to let them run to you mm. when you are coming maybe inside. Maybe sneaking through the back door when or they don't see you. find a way. Maybe their father, dad you takes them. Advance notice. <laughs> advance notice. Pack them that, up okay. in the room and lock them because up from coming through. You don't know what you are carrying from outside. Indeed. Mm. And anything you are carrying from outside, you are going to pass it to them. Fact, I don't know. Yeah. So my stuff is ready now. I'm going to add the spaghetti, spaghetti to it okay. and stay for like just a few minutes okay. and I'll be done. And, and really, um, Sahu is ready. Why don't I go get the table set? Join Mariam in her kitchen. Let's see what she's cooking. And then next time you see us, we'll be at the dining ready to consume our Sahu. Stay with us. Thinking of the perfect gifts this Ramadan season? Honeywell Ramadan Pack is the perfect gift to have and to share, either at Sahur or Iftar. Honeywell Ramadan Pack has something for anyone and everyone. Also, introducing the new Honeywell Ramadan Mini Pack. Why buy in pieces when you can get all Honeywell product in one single pack and save yourself some money while at it? Honeywell Ramadan Regular and Mini Pack are available at all key stores nationwide. Ramadan Kareem from Honeywell flour mill. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You're welcome to Kitchen Time with Mariam. Alhamdulillah for yet another beautiful Ramadan. My name is Mariam Mustafa and um, in my kitchen I'll be showing you different recipes on how to make simple fantastic meals all through Ramadan. I know most of you are great cooks but you never can tell you can learn one or two things from me. So today I'll be making for you um, Irish potatoes pancake and you'll be needing Irish potatoes. Um, for this um, video I'll be using three medium-sized Irish potatoes. I'll be needing one cup of flour, um, one egg, scotch bonnet, onions and granite oil for frying. So I'll go on a short break now. When we come back, we'll start the process. You will come back, so let's begin the process. You start by, you know, adding some water into a bowl. And you add in your flour and you mix together. After that, you add your egg, one egg. Then you add the scotch bonnet and the onions. You mix together and you add the Irish potatoes, the grated Irish potatoes. One tablespoon of salt. Mix everything together. You pour some oil in your pan. Then you scoop a little and fry. So you fry in bits. 
until everything is done. Flip to the other side so that the other side will get fried as well. Then you serve. Finally, our Irish potatoes pancake is ready to be eaten by meal, not you. So you can try it at home. Make sure you enjoy your stay at home. And as we all know, Irish potato is good for the heart. So join me as I eat alone without you. Mm. Mm. This is heaven. Till I come your way again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back. We are set to have our sahur. Alhamdulillah. So, doctor, you, you've established the fact that there's not really different, much difference between taking care of a child in and out of the pandemic, yes, but there are extra yes. precautionary measures to take yes. as a, you know. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, I said if, if the doctors, yes. the nurses, the lab, those that are still working, yes. when you go out, when you are coming back, you have to be very careful the way you attend to your kids okay. at home so that you will not transfer what you are bringing from outside, outside to them. Right. One of the major things they have to do is that once you're coming in mm. from work, mm. just get some way, remove the clutter you're putting on, put them in a bag and go to the bedroom. Take your bath and change to another new clothes before you meet your children. children. Mm. And another thing is that we know that this part, in this particular period, mm -hmm. The immunization schedule has been faulted because they couldn't go to the clinic. Because not everything, get. if you have a problem, don't go to the doctor. Don't go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. You have to call mm -hmm. your GP or you have mm -hmm. to call your GP, like they say in other part of the world. Yeah. We have to call your doctor here yeah, if you have the number of your doctor. Mm -hmm. And when you call them, complain to them, let them know what is wrong. Mm -hmm. However, as a parent, you need to know the basic things. Mm -hmm. Like I mentioned earlier, on, like ordinary ORS or ORT. Mm -hmm. You it can be use it to hand it at home so that if your children develop diarrhea, you can actually prevent it before you call doctor that. Okay, this thing I've tried it, I've but it's no okay. And what so, what should I do? As a way of preventing your kid from getting infected, as well, yeah. we've been asked not to go outside, so don't ask safe visitors in your house as well. Uh -huh. Because you can't stop your kids from coming to your uncle when your uncle comes around. So, you have to do all those things. Let everybody stay. In their so different <laughs> Let them stay in their different houses yeah. for now, yeah. at least yeah. after the pandemic. Anybody that wants to come can come and greet Sorry to cut it. So, what if um, there's a nursing mother does it and she's COVID positive, confirmed? Okay. Can she transfer this to her child? The fact that a woman is positive doesn't mean you can transfer it to the kids. Oh. Even the UNICEF, the Royal College of Gynecologists, advise that mothers would have bonding with their baby and it has not been proven that breast milk mm. can transmit mm. the coronavirus. Mm. We all know that the thing is spread through the... But then she's going to carry her child okay. with her hand that's and where, the baby that's will dip and inside mouth and... Uh, we know the thing is carried through droplets mm. and not by hair like some people already mm. mentioned, it's not by hair. Mm. So there are certain precautions you have to take okay, where so you want to... Cover her. So if you have face mask face mask around you, you have to use the face mask. Before, but before that, I used to tell people that it's a glorified protective measure when you use hand glove or face mask, but when there's community transmission, you have to use it. So one, the first thing first, you have to wash your hands with soap and water. Have a box, a box containing tissue paper with beside you. So when you want to cough, you can you cough. Can you cough. You, when you are taking care of your, you can't cough into your because the baby can't. Well. You have to cough into that paper and drop it immediately. So before you wash your hand very well, use nose mask to cover your nose. Keep your baby bonding. If you cannot, if you are feeling like you don't want to keep the baby the breast milk through direct feeding, you can express. But I always advocate that you don't express me. Because during the expression of me, I think this can happen. 
anything can fly into the neighborhood you are expressing it and contaminate it. So what you are trying to prevent, you are already doing it. So we've been advised that you can breastfeed your baby, cover your nose with nose mask, wash your hand, keep the baby to breast, let the baby take as much as you can. So once you are done, wash your hand again. But one important thing, as you are feeding your baby, don't let third party take off your baby. What I mean by third party is that if you want your grandmother or your mother only, make sure that only one person is taking care of your baby. Because you don't know who is being infected. And the doctors, the nurses working in isolation center are also helping nursing mothers that have their baby positive, actually. But there's no fact that says that a COVID-19 positive nursing I'm mother not, yes. cannot nurse the baby. You can only present nurse the baby and the baby will not be affected, except you break the protocol. But once you follow the protocol, and after feeding the baby, then go back, do the protein, wash your hand, and go back to your solution center. Mashallah, I you made me not like I lost appetite, but it was so engrossing. I had to just abandon the food. But mashallah, Jazakallah, and um, doctor, we won't let you go without giving you something for all the troubles that we put you through getting here in spite of the pandemic. Um, we have this uh, pack of water for you from Bright Foods Limited, makers of big drinks, big water, big sausages. We want your family to stay refreshed um, all through the month of that. And it's always good to take in the water now. Yes, you indeed. have to remove your hydrated. Yes, so thank you, Rice right Food. You, so thank you. We also have um, this for you. This is the Holy World Pack. It contains the spaghetti, macaroni, whipped meal, semolina, noodles. So all your fast, fast, sharp, sharp, five minutes meal. <laughs> In one box for you. Thank you so much. Uh, only wear food Nigeria Limited. Thank you so um, much for coming through and very enlightening. Alhamdulillah, but I mean, you did hear all the doctors said. Have no fear in taking care of your infants. Just ensure you take all the precautionary measures and we will all be fine, Bismillah. Until we come your way, same time tomorrow, Bismillah. Do enjoy your day and have a blissful one. Masalam.